Hi Shulin Monty. I hope it's getting warmer where you are, and have you ever wondered why the heck do we even have seasons anyway? Well, today I'm going to show you why we do. Before we have a look at why we have the seasons, let's take a look at the Earth and a few terms that we're going to need later. Here's a picture of the Earth. If we were to cut it in half, the two pieces we would have are called the hemispheres. Up here is the north and down here is the south. In the middle is the equator. As we move from north or south from the equator up or down, just like going up and down on a ladder. These parallel lines are called latitudes. And if we were to go left and right, that is called longitudes. The Earth spins around a central point called the polar axis. And we have two polar axes, one in the North Pole and one in the South Pole. We'll discuss this a little more later, but let's go back to the seasons. The secret of the seasons has not only to do with the polar axis of the planet and the degree of the axis on our planet has related to the sun in our solar system, but it is also related to the distance that our planet has from the sun. Let's take a look. Our planet sits in what is known as the habitable or Goldilocks zone, as you can see from this picture. The Earth is the perfect distance away from the sun so that it's not too hot that everything gets burned up, but it's also not too cold so that everything freezes. Being in the habitable zone means that the Earth is in the perfect spot for life on this planet to exist. It's also the 23 0.5 degree axial tilt that keeps the entire planet from being too hot or too cold for too long. And this is what gives our planet the seasons. The planet Mercury, for example, doesn't have an axial tilt. So one side faces the sun and is always burning hot, but the other side faces away and is always freezing cold. As you can see from this picture, relative to the sun, the Earth's spin isn't directly up and down, but rather it's tilted, and this is what the axial tilt is. Our planet's 23.5 degree tilt is constant. So as we orbit around the Sun, that means that we go when the Earth goes around the Sun, the Sun's rays are directly aimed at a specific latitude on Earth at different times of the year. When the Sun's rays get directed toward the northern hemisphere, where we live, we get summer. And in the southern hemisphere, like in Australia, they get winter. But the opposite is also true. When the sun's rays are pointed toward the southern hemisphere in Australia, they get summer and we get winter. Near the equator, it's like summer all year round while near the poles, it's like winter all year round. You've probably seen this picture before. It's not to scale, but it shows the sun at the center of our solar system with the planets orbiting around it. Our solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy, seen here. As we orbit around the Milky Way, our solar system looks like this, and it takes millions of years for it our solar system to go around the Milky Way once. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Earth and why we have seasons, and I can't wait to talk to you both. I love you. Bye.